What's going on YouTube? I'm here today to tell you what equipment I play with and what's in my case. This is the case I got. This is a 4x2. This is a j, &J. I had this for since 2009. I had this when I started beginning playing pool. As you can see, this is a uh, two butts and it holds four shafts and this case has been good to me so that's the reason why I stick with it. This is my playing cue. This is a Predator. This is a Roadline Edition. It's the LE4. Um, as you can see, I epoxied the whole cue. So I didn't like uh, the leather wraps. I don't like wraps at all. So what I did was epoxy it. The biggest thing with epoxying it, I had to make sure that it had a good transition when it goes to the joint. So I didn't apply that much epoxy on this. And of course I CA'd it once I epoxied it. So it gives it that lust and shine. This is the shaft I play with, of course. This is the Revo. 12.4 and the backup backup shaft is the 314 the Predator third edition and of course I play with the hard tips this is the Maximus hard tip I also got that on this that way I have the consistency this is my brake shaft This is the Power Brake DK1. Uh, the only thing I upgraded on this shaft was, of course, putting the G10 uh, tip on it. And G10 hits, hits really, really well. I like it a lot. And it's easy to hit with. This is my jump shaft. It's all purple heart. And of course, with a G10 ferrule and tip combination. This one I actually made. This is the... Um, the butt of the brake cue, of course. This is the Mez. As you can see, the Mez cue power brake. I, like I said, I had this one since 2009 also. This is like one of the cues I have an upgrade because it works for me a lot. So I'm not gonna upgrade it. And I actually like it a lot. This is the jump, uh, jump handle for my jump cue with a radial pin. And it's a maple heart also, purple heart also with the ebony points. And these are the equipments I play with. Of course, you gotta have your extension. This is just the Predator three inch extension. Then the chalks from Blue Diamond. I got this for free, so I just kept it. I haven't took it out yet. You got your tip scuffer. Then of course you got your bridge just in case the places you go don't have a bridge. You gotta have your joint protectors, and of course your chalk, just in case. This is the Korean coin. When I was stationed in Korea, I actually brought one of the coins back. This is the heads, this is the tails. Uh, we use this a lot of places because they always flip for who gets the break. So I use that sometimes when I uh, flip for, for the break. Of course the Predator, shaft cleaning thing i don't even use it i just have it and one of my buddies in korea in the pool hall he gave me this he had an extra one this is what holds our towel we just put it through here and we put in our cue case so i just make a little knot on it and that way it doesn't go anywhere it works really good i like it that way i always have a towel ready especially when i'm playing in tournaments as you can see this is the equipment i play with and I'm gonna tell you how long I've been playing for. I've been playing pool com competitively since 2009. I used to hate pool. Uh, when I was growing up, I thought pool was the dumbest thing ever. And then for some reason, in 2009, I did one of my tournaments in the, on a local base, and we played nine ball, and I saw how fast it was. I actually got like third place in it, didn't know what I was doing, and I actually enjoyed it. And for some reason, I got hooked into it. All right, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me. Don't forget to thumbs up.